Hey there! Who? Me? No, not you, the other guy. Oh. Whoa, what? Do you want to get shredded this summer? Well, yeah! Do you want women to flock to you like you're Ryan Gosling on steroids holding 12 puppies? Oh, yeah! Well then, you better get a lot better looking and probably make a lot more money. Oh. But we got the next best thing! Introducing Fat Incinerator 9000. Made with our patented awesome super secret fat annihilating capsule extreme formula. Wait a second, asphase? No, it's pronounced asphase. This is the ultimate fat loss supplement you need to shred 10, 20, even 30 pounds in the next 12 seconds. <laughs> this can't be safe. Don't be a bus kill, you little bitch. <laughs> My insides are on fire! <laughs> fat Incinerator 9000 has been rigorously tested by doctors whose names we will release in a laboratory we can't name. You've heard the doctors, dietitians, and so-called YouTube fitness experts tell you that diet and exercise are the answer. But who the fuck wants to do that? Now that Game of Thrones is back on TV, I've decided to rewatch the first six seasons. I haven't been outside in a week and I get winded just walking to the refrigerator, but that's okay. Thanks, Fat Incinerator 9000. If there's one thing we believe in here, it's ass face. Shut the fuck up, Craig! So what are you waiting for? Pick up the phone and call 1-800-ASS-FACE today because it's time to give us your money. Uh, er, I mean, uh, live a happier and healthier life today. Uh, hey guys, this says there's a lot of cyanide in this. Motherfucker! I've always wondered what the most popular fitness goal from my generation is. The media bombards us with an array of goals related to health and fitness, but if you had to pick one specific objective, which would it be? I resorted to good old fashioned Google for the answer, seeing as how it has never let me down. I typed in how to only to find the most searched option being how to make slime. Google had let me down. Also, it seems like taking a screenshot on a Mac is harder than cooking quinoa. <laughs> Take that, Mac users! PC master race for life, yo! Switching to a more fitness-related how-to, the answer was clearly evident with the top two answers being specifically related to fat loss, and the other two arguably being related to starting down a path of fat loss. This becomes even more evident when looking at the popularity of Google search terms in comparison with one another. Fat loss clearly triumphs over the other common fitness goals when it comes to search popularity, and it's no surprise why. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with this, assuming of course it has done the spirit of bettering oneself and done to a healthy extent. In addition to the obvious visual benefits, for the majority of the population, which is as high as 70% in the United States, losing a few pounds can be an excellent addition to one's life due to the heaps of beneficial attributes that comes with it. Taking it one step further, it's not entirely uncommon for individuals to look elsewhere for aid with fat loss beyond the standard scope of diet and exercise. According to a 2015 report by Nielsen, a company which specializes in analyzing what consumers want and buy, when it comes to weight loss, the vast majority of individuals worldwide rely primarily on diet and exercise. However, 11% of consumers have also relied on taking additional supplements, including quote, diet pills. This may not seem like a lot, but when you factor in that 72% of responders reported engaging in physical exercise specifically for the purpose of fat loss, based on these numbers you can estimate that as many as 1 in every 6 individuals who exercise for fat loss have also experimented with fat loss supplements as well. And although fat loss supplements, or fat burners as they are often referred to as, are still relatively less common than other supplements such as creatine, protein powder, and pre-workouts, they are quickly gaining in popularity. Looking at the popularity of search terms over the past 13 years, the term fat burner has almost tripled in popularity when compared to a very popular supplement such as creatine, whose search term popularity has effectively been cut in half. Fat burners have even gotten to a point where they have their own category on Bodybuilding.com's Supplement of the Year awards. But then again, why am I making this video, as there are hundreds of supplements out there, so why am I specifically picking on fat burners? All new Dr. Oz. Make your belly go from fat to flat. Causes. Your belly is uncontrollably large. <laughs> the Cures. The newest belly fat burners. Without breaking a sweat. This. This is why. Number one, referring to these supplements as belly fat burners is simply preposterous. Number two, the manner in which he refers to these products is concerning. Having just referenced food as a possible quote-unquote cure for belly fat, which I absolutely have no quarrels against, as oftentimes the trouble and solution to one's weight issues lie in his or her dietary choices, but to simply jump from that to fat loss supplements almost causes an issue of false equivalency. 
One could easily misconstrue these supplements as being as important or effective as eating a proper diet. And the third but most troubling thing to me is this statement. Without breaking a sweat. Sorry to be blunt, but this is fucking bullshit. Actually guys, no, I'm done. Let's not listen to Dr. Oz. So instead, let's listen to Dr. Oz. Do you believe that there's a miracle pill out there? There's not a pill that's gonna help you long-term lose weight and live your, the best life without diet and exercise. Without breaking a sweat. In order to properly analyze the broad spectrum of fat burners available, I have singled out the six most popular ingredients I frequently saw in my research. In addition, I have included four common examples of fat loss supplements by popular companies in the fitness industry. Lean Mode by Evolution Nutrition, because at the time of this video, this is the world's number one most popular fat burner on Bodybuild.com. Hydroxycop by MuscleTag, because it is one of the few fat loss supplements to have broken out of this fitness niche and into the general consumer market, being found in retailers such as Walmart, CVS, and even on TV commercials such as this. I was overweight and it was so embarrassing. Then I tried Hydroxycut. And I lost 27 pounds in just 8 weeks. I'm Dr. John Marshall. I lost 29 pounds and 5.5 and inches off my waist using Hydroxycut. I strongly recommend it, both as a new doctor and someone who used it with fantastic results. Fun fact, Hydroxycot actually got into some heat with the FDA over liver toxicity. Afterwards, this guy pretty much fell off the face of the earth. Third on our list, we have Leptin Shred by Six Pack Shortcuts. Wait a second, what's going on? You're not Mike Chang. God damn it, it's like these guys come off an assembly line. Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike with Six Pack Shortcuts. 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 Mike with Six Pack And finally we have Burner by Shreds. I plotted these four examples against the ingredients we mentioned earlier to get the following matrix. So without further ado, let's jump into the first and without a doubt most popular weight loss ingredient ever, caffeine. An excellent resource I'll be using throughout this video is examine.com, a website which aggregates and summarizes scientific evidence behind the ingredients found in supplements. Each ingredient is individually scored in terms of the level of significance supporting its efficacy, the outcome, the magnitude of said outcome, and the consistency of their research. When it comes to caffeine, there is ample research with a high level of consistency pointing at a small but noticeable increase in fat oxidation. However, this isn't due to your fat magically burning off on its own, rather a temporary increase in energy due to caffeine blocking adenosine, a neurotransmitter in your body responsible for inducing drowsiness. In turn, you are most likely going to move more, which increases metabolic rate, increasing the rate of calorie expenditure, and thus increasing the likelihood of entering into a calorie deficit. And this is what burns body fat. Two experiments tested the extent to which one's metabolism increases. The first paper gave healthy young men and women with an average body fat 100, 200, and 400 milligrams of caffeine. The results displayed an increase in metabolism varying from 9.2 calories per hour for the 100 milligram group all the way to 32.4 calories per hour for the 400 milligram group. The measurements were taken three hours after caffeine ingestion, so you can assume that at the higher end of the spectrum, the group who ingested 400 milligrams of caffeine burned an additional 100 calories over the three hour period. This is the equivalent of about one third of a Tim Hortons honey cooler donut. Hashtag Canada. Although this is a noticeable increase in metabolism, this is the equivalent of drinking four cups of coffee in order to burn the same calories as you would on nine minutes on the treadmill. One is fantastic for your health, while the other will make you feel like your head is about to explode. Fortunately, another study performed a similar test, but this time with just 50 milligrams of caffeine, resulting in, not surprisingly, a much smaller effect of just 17 additional calories burned over the course of four hours. Looking back at our supplement matrix, only two products actually contained a measurable amount of caffeine, but even then, they were significantly less than the amount required just to burn an additional 100 calories. One contained no caffeine, and with the other one, the actual amount is unknown. Although the nutrition label says caffeine is included, the actual amount is hidden under the term proprietary blend, which I think is kind of bullshit. I mean, imagine if you went to your doctor and he gave you medication but didn't tell you how much to take. Okay, here you go. This medication is absolutely critical to your survival. Take too little and you will die. Take too much and you will die in a much more painful way. Oh, jeez. Okay, um, how much am I supposed to take? Do you want to play a game? Luckily, this study looked at another ingredient as well, green tea extract. Unfortunately, even when supplementing with as much as 500 milligrams of green tea extract, which is well over the amount found in a regular serving of green tea, the resulting thermogenic response was not significantly different from the placebo. 
Another study performed a meta-analysis of green tea studies, which is just a fancy way of saying a study that looked at other studies to look at everybody's data and everybody's results. And through a series of calculations, researchers were actually able to estimate that a typical cup of green tea can result in about 5.7 grams of additional body fat to be burned. Essentially, this is the equivalent of drinking 80 cups of green tea just to burn one additional pound of body fat. Does it work? Well, yes, technically, but you need a lot. The next ingredient is conjugated linoleic acid or CLA, a fatty acid naturally found in foods such as meat and dairy. Examine.com has a supplement listed as having a significant level of moderately consistent research, but no quantifiable improvement when it comes to fat loss. Diving a bit deeper, I was able to find one study involving overweight participants which noticed an increased rate of fat loss for those consuming 3.4 grams of CLA as opposed to the placebo group. However, the results were minor at best and used an extremely high dose of CLA. Only two supplements in our matrix actually contain CLA. Six pack shortcuts leptin shred, which once again we have no idea how much they are using because they don't give us an amount and they suck and Lean Mode by Evolution Nutrition, which contained 1,000 milligrams per serving, far better than the competition, but still less than one third of the required intake to see even a small improvement in fat loss. Next on our list is Alpha Lipoic Acid, or ALA, an essential fatty acid found in seeds, nuts, and other vegetable oils. It seems there is some evidence pointing to this having a weight reducing effect, but once again, it is minor and with insufficient research. A 2011 study looked at the effects of ALA on weight loss in obese individuals over a 20 week period. The subjects were split into three groups taking 1200 and 1800 milligrams of ALA as well as a placebo. Now the results showed a minor but statistically significant increase in fat loss for the 1800 milligram group. And not surprisingly, Dr. Oz jumped all over this. Lunch time, you've got the whole day left. It's the perfect time to kickstart the burning of fat. So the diet aid here is alpha lipoic acid. It's a very potent antioxidant. You want about 200 milligrams, you would take it with your lunch. None of the supplements in our matrix actually contained ALA in them, but fortunately Shreds has another fat burner on their website, which does, although it's only 40 milligrams per serving or 80 milligrams considering you're supposed to take two servings per day. So even assuming ALA does have some positive effect on fat loss, you'd need as much as 1800 milligrams to see any effect, whereas you are getting a fraction of that in the form of these fat burners. Next up, and probably the worst ingredient on our list, L-carnitine. This is because although examine.com does seem to give it some credibility in regards to its fat reducing capability, a 2000 study involving four grams total daily supplementation of L-carnitine showed quote, no significant changes in mean total body mass, fat mass, or resting lipid utilization. To add insult to injury, they go on to say that not only did it not have the desired effect, there were no significant differences between groups for any variable. Fatality. And once again, even if it did have an effect, this study showed nothing with 4 grams, whereas it is found in much lower quantities in our example supplements. Lean Mode had the highest quantity at 1000 milligrams per serving, but this is still one quarter of the quantity required to see nothing really. And the last ingredient on our list, we have Gar... Uh, Garcin uh... Garcinia Cambogia. Revolutionary new research says it could be the magic ingredient that lets you lose weight without diet or exercise. Is this a joke? There's even B-roll footage in the episode of a lady eating a McDonald's hamburger. A study showing supplementation at 2 grams per day of Carcinia gambogia extract showed, quote, it did not promote weight loss or lower total cholesterol in overweight individuals consuming their habitual diet. And again, even if it did have an effect, the amount found in these supplements seems to be extremely insufficient with lean mode having the highest quantity in our matrix, but still only having one tenth of the quantity required to see, well, nothing. So what are my final thoughts on fat burners in general? Well, they aren't entirely bullshit, but they will never in a million years be able to replace proper diet and exercise. This will require some willpower. This will require you to break a sweat, but this will absolutely not require you to take any supplements. Although if you still insist on a fat loss supplement, I recommend you drink a cup of coffee or get yourself a pack of caffeine pills for the grand total of $4. Also guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more informative fitness as well as general lifestyle content. I put up photos pretty much every day and I love getting and responding to comments from you guys. So definitely